A new study says the popular pet goldfish is an environmental menace and threatens biodiversity. Even the ones that can drive? I'm not kidding. This in a report now at Study Finds. You know, goldfish are the quintessential starter pet. They're cute, tiny, and easy for kids of all ages to take care of, even short adults. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> I kid. I'm even wearing my uh, new Study Finds fishing shirt today, just for the occasion. Surprisingly, however, researchers from Queen's University, Belfast, report these golden little guys may actually spell big trouble for surrounding ecosystems if they enter the wild. I've always heard this rumor that a goldfish will, like, just grow huge if they're in the wild, and that the only reason they stay small is because they're in a small bowl. I'd be curious to see how, how big can they get. The goldfish that ate Belfast. I can see the movie right now. <laughs> Let's see where this one's going. I might have to tangle with the study authors. I love goldfish. Okay, many pet owners consider setting their pets free to be the more humane option in comparison to the alternatives. Yes, that. When it comes to goldfish, this approach may do more harm than good, researchers warn. And researchers say that the pet trade in general accounts for a third of all aquatic invasive species. So, the researchers decided to focus on two very common aquatic pets in Northern Ireland, goldfish and the white cloud mountain minnow. You see, kids, goldfish were first domesticated well over 1,000 years ago. Since then, non-native goldfish populations have appeared literally all over the globe. Now that they can drive, look out. <laughs> Just... White cloud mountain minnows, comparatively, are nowhere near as widespread. They can't drive, can they? So why is it that the eaty beady goldfish is such an issue? Well, apparently they're pigs. <laughs> Not literally, but they eat a lot. They're called voracious. Much more than cloud mountain minnows or nearby native species. Behaviorally, goldfish also appear to be braver and more willing to take risks. This trait is linked to invasive spread. I get that. They're tough guys. And they basically adapt very well to whatever body of water they end up in, too. So if you want to see that uh, post on the goldfish that can drive, we have that at Study Finds. I'll put a link in the description. I'm not making that one up. <laughs> so anyway, researchers think that they got to find a way to limit the spread of goldfish as an invasive species and that more research is definitely needed. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and head over to studyfinds.com.